We're up on this roof in Cape Coral and we have a situation where we're able to show you quite a different, uh, a lot of different stuff going on here that it pertains to a lot of people uh, are in a lot of pain right now because of these tarp systems. You know, you can't blame them. They're doing the best they can. They're just, not everyone can be a professional uh, tile roofer and they get these crews out here who aren't really roofers at all. And um, I mean, take a look at this. How is this water shedding? How is water um, able to, I mean, the water comes right down here. All right, this is, this is failing. These things don't work. They're never going to work. They might work for about a week or two. The first swift wind that comes by, you're gonna uh, have it just thrown. Look, look at all these sandbags. You know, those wind up falling off the roof, hopefully not on somebody's head. And if there's one thing you gotta know if you're a roofer is water shedding. It has to shed water. The layer below it has to be below the top layer. That way water can flow. It's the number one thing. And we have a situation here where uh, you allow the air to get underneath there and work its way underneath these tarps. Uh, these tarps just don't last. Also, with the friction of the air coming in here, you get all these little rips. Now, that's not holding in water. You got holes in this tarp. And it's ugly. Look at our tarp right across the street here. That is secure, secure, secure. That tarp has been on there uh, probably about three weeks before this tarp was installed. And, you know, and with us, your tarp won't be on long because we're the first ones out here getting her done. We have roofers right now putting on roofs as we speak. This whole neighborhood, half the people here have already hired us. And when they see our performance, we'll get the rest of them.